Okay, so here we are in uh, Dubai on the beautiful Palm Marina in Dubai. Absolutely beautiful. And what I'm doing is I'm going to a buddy's boat and uh, we're going to see if we can fix his fuel sensor. So to do that, we've got to find the access hole, pull out the fuel sensor, find out what manufacturer it is, measure how long the float system is, and then we'll be going to uh, Dubai market and see if we can find a new sensor. Okay, so here's the starboard engine. You see that's reading good. Okay, so that's the port engine. Not reading. Okay, here's the uh, inspection hall where we're going to retrieve the sensor and the sensor is there. So, we're going to go about now taking the Allen keys or Allen screws up the top of the sensor and pull the sensor. So, we got the fuel sensor out. There it is there. And the two things you've got to do to find out how to replace or what to replace is look for the manufacturer. This one's a, a, a Welmer. And once you find that out, there's a marking on the side. This one's an SSL. And then you measure how long the sensor is. And this one is 24 inches. And uh, sure enough, the sensor had gone because when we took it out and wired it up and moved this up and down, it worked on full but nothing else. So we changed the sensor and now it's time to see if it works. So, okay, this is the moment of truth. So we're going to switch it on and see if the uh, fuel gauge actually works. Can you switch it on, Ramsey? And, and there we go, she's working, success.